Well, more doses of COVID-19 vaccine are being packed and shipped this weekend after the FDA gave emergency approval to a shot from Moderna. Doses will begin arriving at hospitals on Monday. As we've reported, top priority is being given to frontline health care workers and residents of long-term care facilities to get vaccinated. But some are calling to add another group to that list. Ten on your side's camera Scott spoke with one group advocating for chicken plant workers. Today I spoke with Jason Urasis. He's with Legal Aid Justice Center and he's speaking up for the farm workers and the essential workers in the poultry industry. Since the pandemic started, there were some who were deemed essential workers. Poultry workers and farmers fell into that list because they had to continuously work to provide the food we see on our dinner plate. They were the folks that were keeping food on our tables. They were the folks that are ensuring that the economy was kept afloat. And so now we have to be in a position to protect them. Jason says he wants to point out that many of the workers in that job title are middle to low class income and have been impacted by the virus just as harshly as anyone else. Losing jobs, losing life, falling sick. He wants to make sure this line of work is kept as a prioritization, but. It's, a, it's kind of a nearsighted focus on prioritization. That's vastly important. But I think for the low and middle income essential workers of Virginia, it misses a key point. That point being proper distribution and coordination for these workers to receive the vaccine. Are there protocol in place to ensure that all the workers are being given the opportunity to get the vaccine? How do folks even know that they're eligible, um, especially if they don't have health insurance? And frankly, how can they be guaranteed that any information that they're sharing with the government during the vaccination process doesn't adversely affect them, including from an immigration standpoint. He says historically coming by this information has been difficult. The history books and data will show that the poultry and agricultural industries fail to protect workers, right? Folks in rural and urban communities bore the brunt of this. Um, workers died. Communities were ravaged by the spread. Which is why he's fighting so hard to make their voices heard. We need advanced preparation. We need community, industry, and government coordination. We've got to continue to build trust with workers that have been historically marginalized. And right, right now we have to act to allay these fears, the safety and the access to the vaccine. He says his advocacy will continue with state government to ensure that the next phase of the distribution process will be equal and for all workers in Virginia. Tamara Scott, 10 on your side.